The next step of the update process is to write the SQL statement that will actually update the user in the database. And this is what you will learn in this video. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder and let's go in that CFIF block here that checks if the error message array is empty. And at that location, I need to write a CF query block to query once again the HD Street data source. Now here, I don't have to specify a name because actually I will give some kind of an order to the database. I won't use that query to select data, to retrieve data from the database, so I don't need a variable to store whatever comes back from the database. But if you want to specify a name, you can, but it's not mandatory. Now in that query, I don't need to select anything. I don't need to insert anything. Instead, I need to update something and I want to update the users table. I need to set the first name in the users table and I want to make it equal to the dynamic data that I find in the form for that field, which is the FLD user first name like that. Then I need a comma to separate the first from the second field and here I need to type the FLD last name and I want to make it equal to the dynamic data that is in the form. Like that. And then another comma to separate the second from the third field. Notice the quotes around those pieces of dynamic data because those are strings. Now we have to do the very same thing for the remaining fields of the database that we want to update. Okay, so I've done it for all the fields that I want to update in the database and that I capture with the form. Notice that the instrument does not use the quotes because the instrument is a number and not a string of text. And notice also that there is no comma at the end after the user comment because this is the last field, so I don't need a comma here at the end. Now, if I stop here, I would update all the users of the database and all the users would have the same first name, the same last name, the same email. So obviously this is not what I want. Don't forget, very important, that where clause to specify that you want to update only that user whose user ID is equal to the one supplied in the form and that comes from the hidden field that we have added to the form. Now, one last little thing here for our script. Remember that in the exercise, you had to create that variable here. Now, if that process is successful, just after the query, I want to change the value of that variable and make it true like that. Now, let's take a look at how it works in the browser. So I will change a few things here. I will change, for example, the email address of that user, make it equal to that email address, that Gmail address. And here, let's change the comment, the updated comment like that. I will update that profile. You see that the page refreshes. Nothing is shown here on the page because we need to provide feedback now to the user. But let's take a look in ColdFusion Builder at the users table. And you should see that user number 19, in my case, has indeed a new email address and has a new comment when you place the mouse on top of that field. OK, so it works. So in the next video, you will finalize that process and provide some feedback to the user.